Yeah, Zach, in this report, there aren't many projections. What it does dive into is how much money could be lost if OKC did not retain the Thunder or failed to keep attracting big shows. Last year, Oklahoma City's premier venue, the Paycom Center, saw 1.1 million people pass through these doors. That includes Thunder Games, OKC Blue Games, and other ticketed events like concerts and comedy shows. Researchers with an Arizona firm called Applied Economics found that with 114 events per year, the current arena and the Thunder have an annual economic impact of $513 million. The report says that creates nearly 2,500 jobs, generating $274 million in labor income every year. Another metric that was examined was how many people come into the city to attend events and games at the arena. From 2022 to 2023, 47 ticketed events were held, with a projected attendance of more than 489,000 people. Almost half were those who traveled from out of town, including those who stayed overnight. Add it all up, $45.5 million is spent by visitors and visiting teams. What's important to take away is that this report doesn't actually prove or claim a new venue is worth the $950 million price tag for the city, nor does it make projections about future revenue created by the venue. What it does contend is that a new venue would attract more shows and more people, generating more revenue. Now, the projections that are in this report deal with construction. Right now, it's estimated to have an economic impact of over $1 billion, and that construction could create around 10,000 jobs.